Hello, dear friends. I'm Roland Gunther, homeopath in Reusnon, Vancouver Island. And today I'm here from an orchard that I grew up in when I was a little boy with my grandpa. Yeah, and here I'm today with my grandkids in Germany. So, I, you know, one of my great loves, what I really love in life is apples or fruit in general. And like these old apple meadows, that used to be around every village and every little town. They have a great variety of different types of apples, of pears, of plums, of you name it, all kinds of fruit here. And it's just a great joy. There, for me, apples and fruit trees are a high cultural achievement because it's the end result of hundreds or maybe even thousands of years of co-evolution where people took care of apples and they adapted them to different uh, landscapes and uh, soil and climate. And uh, so there, were, there once used to be an enormous variety of different uh, sorts, different types of apples. They were adapt adapted specifically to the local climates, to uh, local soil conditions and to the different use of people, the, what, uh, how people use them. Like there's some pears you can just pick from the tree and eat them. And there's others you can pick and they are really hard and you have to wait until next year until they get edible. Yeah? And, and in, in sometimes in April they are still hard. Yeah? And then there's other fruit that you uh, use for uh, to preserve over winter or that you use for drying or that you use for apple cider and to use for baking and it's all different varieties that are different in for for the specific purposes and in specific areas i think it was around the 1900s when there was really the peak of the apple culture of the fruit culture in this way just in southern germany you we had more than 600 di different varieties of apples and uh, now slowly they are getting less and less there is also something else that i really love about these old trees it's a generational contract i remember a little bit further up there when i was about seven years old i planted an apple tree with my grandpa this apple tree it was clear clear grandpa took care of it trimmed it, uh, got it water, but he, in his lifetime, he will not uh, harvest a lot of uh, apples uh, from that tree. But today, my grandkids are climbing on them and they harvest the, uh, the, uh, the apples. And this apple tree is in full, yeah, it, it's just in the middle of its life. And this spans, so just this one tree spans already four generations. And I think this is something so beautiful that we do things that it's not for benefit in a few years just for us, but that we do things because we know generations after us, the people will enjoy them and, and will still benefit from them and it will connect them just like my, my granddaughter Mona. Come here Mona for a moment. Just say hi. Hi. <laughs> like she's today uh, helping picking apples and in, in doing so she's connected to generations that took care of them before. And that's something very beautiful. You know First Nation people, Native people, they have this notion of that whatever they do they consider seven generations coming after them and how it's going to affect the generations in the future. And it's something that we also had in our culture, in the Western culture, but it's a little bit in the background now because we're so fast living and just thinking and short term goals. But I think if we want to survive on this planet and just for the, for the benefit of our children, we got to think again, or include these old values of how is this going to affect my children, my grandchildren. And um, I think this is something that we can love from the apples and from our grandchildren and from the fruits in general. 
So maybe think about if you plant an apple tree or maybe even two, one that you can harvest in a few years from and another one like an old tree where you know your grandkids can climb on or hang a swing in the lower uh, branches and another tree that will last a long, long time and that will tell future generations about you and that you cared. Thank you so much for joining me today here. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>